Well, that's a disappointing one. Um, you know, this is one of the trophies you want to win. You set your sights on. You know, we were we had the defending defending it from the 1920 season, and tonight we just weren't good enough. Um, individual mistakes at our our blue line cost us three of those goals. Um, turnovers in the neutral zone. It's just we made we basically made five individual mistakes tonight that all ended up in the back of our net. Um, other than that, I, you know, I think we gave up 20 shots tonight, but probably eight or ten of them were two on zero, oh, two on one. So uh, we didn't leave Rock very much help back there. Um, you know, we'll 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 put this one behind us. I don't want this to be a game that that um, is the start of something that that sends us the wrong way. So we'll try to close the door on this one pretty quickly here. I think, you know, I went after the second period and we we're embarrassed. You know what I mean with the the way that first 40 minutes went. I, I, we had some pushback in the third. There's really no silver lining there. Tonight wasn't good enough. Um, you know, we, we still have two months of pretty important hockey here. We put ourselves in a pretty pretty good spot these these last six months. And um, you know, again, going to be some some bummed out people tonight. That's for sure in the room. Um, I hate to lose, so uh, pretty disappointed. Is it just a case of kind of? Regrouping now from this and, and focusing on league standings. Well, that's the only option we have right now. Obviously, um, you know Belfast is, is right on our tail here. Cardiff isn't far behind. So you know I think there's 18, 19 games left in the regular season. You know we're gonna if we play like this, it's gonna be a long 18 or 19 games. So we're definitely gonna have to sort it out here this week um, and get ready for a huge weekend. You know what I mean? That's that's the interesting part of the, the Challenge Cup is it's a mid-season tournament and, you know, you don't want to sit and, and feel sorry for ourselves right now after this result tonight. Um, I think it's really important that we, again, focus on what we've been good at the first six months that's put us in this position and, and, and close the door on this one and, and move on. Frustrating. Uh, very frustrating, but because um, the way we played in the first 10 minutes, you thought this was this is going to be a hell of a hockey game, and I think because we didn't score in that first 10 minutes, um, we changed a bit the way subconsciously how we played, and you know maybe trying a bit too much, trying to be a bit too cute, and you know we basically we get lost in these D zone in the first goal, in the second goal we you know we dropped the power or fan on a few pucks, but you know they had two shots from the point that they scored and. Second period, I thought we a bit of the same. We had some spurts really good, and then obviously you're down three. You're trying to chase the game, and we made some bad decisions. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we know this is a, a tough place to come and get two points, and um, you know we talk about how tight that league is now, and every game matters, home and away. Um, and you know we set out uh, we set out what we had to do here to try and have success tonight and. To the game plan, um, the execution was for 60 minutes tonight. Um, you know, if I break it down, I thought Dundee came out uh, very strong. The first, um, I don't know, maybe the first half of the first period, um, we got through that, and then um, I thought we just grew into the game after that. We had a good back end of the first period, and then solid in the second, and then a really strong finish in the third. So, you know, from a Guildford standpoint, very happy with um, 60 minutes of gameplay away from home tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, first shift, give up a goal, then take an early penalty. We battled back, and we battled back again, and then third period came off. We didn't play our game. That's not Panther hockey. We talked about it nonstop and came off our structure and team like that. Put the game away. Yeah, I mean that was that was a close hockey game for you know the majority of the night. I know we pulled away there late in the third, but 
Um, we got off to a quick start, and Nottingham pushed right back on us. And you know, again, we go up three-two there, and they come right back down and score. So entertaining game. Um, I felt like that that game was pretty important for us after the the, the, the way we played on Wednesday, um, which was an uncharacteristic game for us. And we bounced right back. Um, guys showed some character. We got back to playing our type of hockey, and and um, yeah, it was it was fun. It was, and then obviously, you know, Robert Dowd with that the goal tonight, which was which was huge. Uh, obviously, I thought we came out very flat. I thought the first 40 minutes, um, you know, we, we know that. This is a trap game where you've just come off an emotional win on Wednesday, and uh, you have to refocus, and, and, and we understand the importance of every game moving forward. So, you know, our, our first 20 was was a little sluggish, a little bit better in the in the second, and the third was just something that, um, you know, once we got that uh, third goal, it sort of just took off from there. But, uh, you know, obviously, I'm very happy with the two points. I'm happy with our performance in the third. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a grind. We didn't know it was going to be quite like this, but, um, you know, it's one of those games that happens. You mentioned there about an emotion coming off from Wednesday. How concerned were you about that coming into the team and how do you think the team handled this game? Well, you know, like we, we wanted to weather, weather a little bit in the first period. I thought coming out 0-0 uh, zero, zero after the first period, uh, we, we were, we take, we'll take it, you know. Uh, uh, you know, we, we talked about it the day before in practice, and I thought we just got what we needed in practice today, uh, on, uh, on Friday. But, um, you know, come out 0 0, we're, we're content with that. Uh, you know, I'd like to see a bigger, of a bigger of a push in the second, but to come into the third period with the, with the one goal lead uh, was big for us. Of course, the Steven Dixon third goal on the power play was sort of that momentum changing uh, goal for us. A massive game tomorrow, I think, last goal. A test goal, 42 seconds, even another long travel day. What are you looking for? The biggest thing is managing pucks tomorrow. Uh, you know, we, we have to take care of what we can, and the one thing that we can manage is the puck. And uh, you know, not load up their offense, not, not creating offense for them, uh, making sure that we put pucks in properly, and uh, and again, just just manage our game. That's going to be the most important thing, and and wait for our opportunities. I know it's a lot about the team, but Riley Brown got his first pro goal. The crowd seems to have really taken to him, and their response was something special. Well, I was going to say, Gareth, it's great to see the crowd response, and uh, from 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 our perspective here on the bench, to see uh, the players respond and uh, how excited they they are for him. His first pro goal, first goal as a Cardiff Devil, and uh, 
you know, he's, he's been here a short time, but he's impacted this team. He impacts the game every time he's out there. So uh, the guys couldn't be happy for him, and it's well-deserved. It's been a – felt like a little bit time coming because he's had some opportunities, and um, uh, it was so great to see him finally get that first one. And, again, he's uh, – he, he's had such an impact on our players personally, professionally, and uh, we're, we're just very excited that he's uh, part, of, part of the Kairos Devil family. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, if you look at the the game, I think we came out of the first period and I think we carried most of the play in the first. Um, we had a lot of zone time, a lot of puck possession and, um, you know, some, you know, we outshot them almost three to one in the, in the, in the first period. Uh, and they came out with, you know, they made, we made one mistake and uh, they countered. Um, and I think that was probably... Um, the theme of the game. I think, you know, we outshot them, I think, 49-28 or something like that. So, you know, we had a lot of the play. Um, you know, they got a three rush rush goals, including the uh, overtime goal. Um, but, you know, like in terms of it, it would have been, considering how things went this year, I think it could have been um, easy for them to shut it down. And uh, credit to the guys, they, they stuck with it right to the end to get, get it back to 4-4. And, um, you know, believe it or not, that's a valuable point for us tonight. And, uh, you know, that might be a point that, uh, you know, sees us get into the playoffs at the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, right now down the stretch, it's about you know, collecting points, uh, you know, as a coach, I always like to look longer term, Was definitely wasn't happy with uh, probably the first half of our game. Uh, once we get up 3-1, I liked our game, but, uh, you know, we, we've, we've had a habit of making it interesting at the end and uh, having a, you know, a couple goal cushion and giving it back to them, and, and that, we've done that a lot this year. That's something we're going to have to remedy if we want to, you know, get into the playoffs and do something when we get there, so... Uh, but at the end of the day, we found a way to get it done, and uh, that's important too. Huge, uh, huge bounce back weekend for us. You know, I, I felt like that game last night was arguably one of the most important games of the year for us after the way we played on Wednesday, feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves, um, finding a way to go down to Nottingham and win a game convincingly, especially in the third period there. Tonight, that first period was eerily sim similar to the, the, <laughs> the Wednesday game, to be honest. I thought that was one of the worst periods we played all year long. Um, turned pucks over in the neutral zone didn't have any emotion, you know, guys had bad body language, um, 
So we, you know, again, I respect the character in that room, um, found a way to turn our game around for that last 40 and, and win a hockey game. Yeah, I know, I, I, again, I thought we did a lot of good things tonight. I think, you know, our second period tonight was much better than our second period last night. Uh, I thought we had a few good looks there and could have made it three or four. Um, unfortunately, you know, we got to let Letal in behind us there and, you know, nice finish and I think gave him a little bit of momentum and then again, just a miss assignment off the rush there. We just a little bit off their guy and, you know, Jones taps in that rebound and um, I thought we still had a good period, but, you know, two mistakes ends up in the back for net and, uh, you know, they got that third one and gave them a little bit of energy. You know, the building gets loud and, you know, it gets stressful. And uh, I think maybe we got caught pushing there to get the third one back and gave up the fourth. And at that point, probably game sealed. Yeah, um, obviously our top line came to play tonight. Big reason why we're, we're leaving here with two points. Um, another reason is our penalty kill. Uh, penalty kill was massive tonight, but on the flip side of that, we just can't take that many penalties. Um, we're going to have to get better at that. It's going to cost us here. So um, as a whole, obviously, you know, coming out here with two points, you got to be happy with it. Um, but, you know, there's a bit of a trend here the last you know handful of games or seen some things I don't like so um, we need first of all we've had a uh, a long two to three weeks of important hockey games I think that there's some some tired guys there mentally and that's what we're seeing I hope anyways um, so it's important here that we get these two days rest um, shut the brains off come back mentally and physically ready to compete and practice uh, for the rest of the week and then obviously you know the games pick back up they're not going to get any less important here going forward so um you know we're looking to we're looking to put together a full 60 and we haven't done that in a while yeah um you know i thought we played a pretty good game i don't you know i don't think the score line was indicative of, of the of the game obviously uh yeah, I mean, the power play—they they had some incredible looks. It's—it's it's, you know we did everything we everything we wanted to do. Um, you know we had a lot of shots on net. We had a lot of, you know we had missed backdoor plays and you know the five on three we scored on the one. We had some great opportunities uh, on the other one. Um, yeah, would have liked to have, to have gotten a couple more, um, but you know I thought the guys battled, competed real hard. Uh, you know you come out and play a first period like that, you'd expect to be up. You know, by a couple, not down by a couple, but um, good fight back, good claw back. We needed some character. This team's uh, a little low on confidence with, with the way it's going. We've had a, a tough schedule and key, key injuries. And, you know, and it's just about trying to kind of stay stay within the group and in the fight and, and, and you know, put a good push on.
Um, overall, I mean, tough game, good game. Um, I thought it was pretty evenly matched. Um, but the one thing, the, the one thing, the criticism that I would say, obviously, with, with us tonight was our power play. Um, you know, we, we had a five on three there for a full minute and then we went on to a five on four. Um, and on those, uh, on those situations, you've got to capitalise, especially in these games that are so tight. Um, the, you know, the power play, we had some good looks, but it's, it's about scoring. You know, it is about capitalising. And we didn't do that tonight. And um, like you say, but the overall game play I thought was pretty fair. It was 50 50 game. Um, you know, 3 1 game. I don't, I, it wasn't a 3 1 game. We had a lot of good chances, especially the first period. But, um, you know, again, disappointment because it's, uh, it's a loss at home. But um, again, we've got to make sure that we're ready for the next week coming. You know, we've got three tough games here coming up, Belfast, Belfast, and then back home on Sunday. Uh, got to go over a few things and, uh, you know, again, work on power play like we do every week and uh, hopefully it will start clicking here. Yeah, I think we we didn't come ready to, to, to go from the drop of the puck tonight, and it's something that we've struggled with uh, all year long. I think, um, you know, we, we emphasize the importance of the game tonight, and, you know, I would have thought after the effort we put in last night that, you know, we would have uh, came out with that, you know, that same intensity, and, um, you know, give credit to, to Dundee. They, they came ready to go after their defeat last night uh, at home, uh, and, you know, that first period, they just wanted it more than us, and that's, you know, that's bottom line and um, you know and we feel like we've been saying that a lot this year and that's you know that's where our inconsistencies you know put us where where we are in the in the table yeah it was a massive game for both teams and uh, you saw the the competitiveness from the start of the game I thought both teams were were engaged were, were you know physical in some ways and, and whatnot and uh, we were able to get the quick lead and build off that but uh no, to come in this building and to get two points, especially after maybe last night's disappointment for us, uh, but tonight we kind of knew it was a, a big swing and um, something that we needed to get back on track.